In a world of debates about climate change, intolerance and fake news, an international group of students tried to make a difference. Enrolled in a minor transmedia design at the Pontus Academy for Creative Industries, these eight students were assigned a client and were tasked with designing a transmedia campaign to fit their needs. They were paired with FASAT Government, a consulting agency focused on circular economy and sustainability. FASAT's mission was to get more people interested in circular economy, in fact, as many as possible. To realize this, the students went to work on creating an immersive story that would be told through four different visual media platforms. Thus, Apollo's legacy was born. During the brainstorming sessions, the students asked themselves what a circular future would look like. They further explored this and it became the basis for the story world of the campaign. They created a utopic future which was fully circular and sustainable and created a protagonist to lead the audience to this future, Apollo. The future didn't stay fully utopian though. Traditional storytelling demands an antagonist. Enter Vestitas, a company that aims to privatize the planet's resources as unsustainably as possible. This added conflict to the story and a mission to safeguard this future utopia. It was brought to the audience through time travel with both Apollo and Festitas trying to influence them. Their campaign consisted of having their protagonist challenging the audience weekly to take part in eco-friendly circular tasks based around a topic. Apollo provided tips and tricks on how to accomplish them and talked about this topic during the week. These challenges were kicked off by having the antagonist releasing advertisement videos of products that made life easier but heavily damaged the environment. In order to develop this conflict as a full transmedia campaign, a website was created to serve as a main hub where people could meet Apollo and discover the world he came from. This main hub was connected to three different social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Each of them had a different purpose. Facebook provided a place where people could post their progress with the challenges and Apollo could also keep his followers up to date and post tips and tricks related to the weekly topic. YouTube served as a main platform for all the audio-visual content of the campaign. Vestida's advertisements videos, Apollo's call for help, and additional content developed by third-party creators. This related to circular economy and was in an accessible playlist. Finally, Instagram was where our protagonist posted glimpses and a visualization of his future world, while Vestida's had a corporate profile which served to immerse the audience in our story world. Since the start of the campaign, over 36 unique images, 9 original videos and a fully functional website were developed. 53,000 people have seen the bumper ad and 210 logged onto Apollo's legacy hub. The campaign has now ended, but the story will continue. A new group of students will carry on the project. The current group has developed a strong concept that, with their feedback, can reach higher levels of interactivity and become a solid platform, not only for circular economy lovers, but a general audience. Therefore, Facet Government will become the go-to place to learn about circular economy. The assets that were created are fully adaptable for a classroom dynamic which can lead to a new way of teaching that converges with transmedia storytelling. The future is in your hands.